Hey guys, it's George. Um, you ever wonder why you're stuck where you're at? I mean, why does God have you in that spot you can't seem to get out of? You try your hardest. You, you, you try to manipulate your, your, you know, your circumstances. You try to, you try to, you know, make things happen, and it just seems like closed door after closed door after closed door. And, and, you know, we get so frustrated when, when, when we hit that closed door, um, when, when we bang our heads up against that wall, and, and we begin to wonder, you know, why we're stuck where we're stuck at. But, but do we ever take the time to ask God why he has us where we are? Listen to Isaiah 55, 9. It says, For as the heavens are, as, are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways. So my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I mean, when we get a hold of that scripture and we, and we realize that maybe God has a reason why we are where we are, we can get a different perspective. And we can begin to say, okay, God, there's a reason why I am I'm here. There's a reason why I'm stuck in this town. There's a reason why I'm stuck in this job. There's a reason why I'm stuck in this circumstance. There's a reason why I'm stuck in my dilemma. What is it? What are you doing, Lord? What are you, what are you saying? What are you trying to teach me? And so, you know, it's time that we start asking God. Instead of trying to fix what God has orchestrated. You know, a friend of mine used to say, you know, God fixes a fix in order to fix us. But if we try to fix the fix that God fixed to fix us, you know, God has to fix another fix in order to fix us. Yeah, I'm not saying that again. You'll have to. Re you're gonna have to replay the the video here uh, to get that. Um, but I want I want you to ask this question: If you feel stuck in, in in your circumstance or feel stuck in life, God, why do you have why do you have me where you have me? I love you guys, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.